how-to video will show you how to prepare the Hamilton T1 ventilator for use. Although we are using a Hamilton T1 in this video, all the procedures we demonstrate here are the same for Hamilton C1 and Hamilton MR1 ventilators. Before you start ventilation, there are a few things you need to do. You should be able to complete the whole module in less than six minutes. Check the power cable is securely in place to make sure it can't disconnect accidentally, and then connect it to the primary power outlet. The battery charge indicator is solid green when the battery is fully charged and connected to primary power, even when the ventilator is turned off. If the indicator is flashing, this tells you the battery is still charging. If the battery is not charging, for whatever reason, the indicator will stay dark. Make sure the ventilator is connected to a power source before you start ventilation. If you haven't done so already, connect the oxygen hose to the ventilator, and then to the gas supply or a gas cylinder. To connect the breathing circuit, you need to, firstly, install the expiratory valve. Then you can connect the breathing circuit and components. And lastly, the external devices and sensors. After this, you can perform any of the necessary tests, calibrations, and pre-operational checks. If you are using a pre-assembled coaxial breathing circuit, this contains everything you need, namely the expiratory valve set, the breathing circuit, and the flow sensor. Be sure to check the expiratory valve set before using it on the patient. Firstly, remove the safety cover and check that the membrane is properly aligned with the expiratory valve housing and the metal plate is facing upwards. Position the expiratory valve set in the expiratory port and twist it clockwise until it locks into place. To connect the coaxial breathing circuit, firstly attach the main tube to the inspiratory port and then connect the elbow adapter to the expiratory valve. Lastly, Attach the blue and clear tubes to the flow sensor connection ports. Make sure you always position the flow sensor tubing on top of the flow sensor. When you ventilate a patient with a coaxial breathing system, you need to use a heat and moisture exchanger filter. This should be placed between the flow sensor and the flex tube, as described in the operator's manual. If you are using a heated breathing circuit, choose the correct circuit and expiratory valve set according to the patient group or selected treatment. Firstly, install the expiratory valve set. If you are using an autoclavable expiratory valve set, you need to assemble the expiratory valve set first by placing the silicone membrane onto the expiratory valve housing. The metal plate should be facing upwards and be visible. Position the valve in the expiratory port, ensuring it is straight, and twist it clockwise until it locks into place. To prevent patient or ventilator contamination, connect a bacterial and viral filter between the patient and the inspiratory port. An expiratory filter is not required, but you might use one for infection control, according to your institution's protocol. If you use one, place it on the patient side of the expiratory valve. The following information applies if you are using the Hamilton BC8022 breathing circuit or any other double limb breathing circuit for an active humidifier. Install a water bag or bottle above the humidifier. Firstly, insert the humidifier chamber. Connect an elbow adapter. Connect the shorter blue tube to the inspiratory port on the ventilator and connect the expiratory tube to the expiratory valve. Then insert the water feed line into the water bag or bottle. Make sure that all the electrical contacts on the breathing circuit match the connecting element on the humidifier. Now you can insert a flow sensor into the breathing circuit in front of the patient connection, that is, the Y piece. Then attach the blue and clear tubes to the flow sensor connection ports. To prevent water accumulating in the flow sensor and tubing, position the flow sensor tubing on top of the flow sensor. The gas temperature is measured at the Y piece by the temperature probe integrated in the inspiratory limb. Make sure you keep the inspiratory limb positioned correctly. If you are using a mainstream CO2 sensor, 
you can connect it now to the corresponding connection port. Slide the CO2 sensor onto the airway adapter, align the arrows on both components, and press them together until you hear a click. Then, connect the sensor with the airway adapter to the breathing circuit before the flow sensor. Position the breathing circuit so that the tubes cannot be pushed, pulled, or kinked if the patient moves. The next step is to perform the pre-operational checks. This educational video does not replace the relevant instructions for use. Be sure to read the ventilator's operator's manual, as well as instructions for use that accompany the humidifier or other devices, breathing circuits, and other consumables. Pay particular attention to important safety and hygiene information, 